little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Um, I do have to remain quiet right now because um, everyone in my house is asleep, um, except for hubby, he's currently taking a shower right now. Um, but I will be filming at night for the time being. Um, I'll let you know once that changes, but for now we'll be filming at night. So if you have issues hearing me, um, go ahead and wear headphones, turn up your volume, whatever you need to do. Because as you know, unfortunately, I'm too broke to afford anything nice to record with, so I'm stuck with my laptop. Anyway, so, um, yes, I have some more news for you. So, for those of you who, um, didn't watch my part one video of this, please go watch it now before you watch this one. So you have the full story of what's going on. And the full story is that, um, well, I mean, <laughs> continuing from where I left off. So I came back from the doctor actually a while ago. Um, I'm really sorry I couldn't uh, get a video out to you guys. Just by the time I got home, I had to do so much, so many things that I kind of just forgot. Um, but I am making a video for you guys now. So what happened? Um, I got called back, and um, the nurse that was helping me out, um, they she asked me like, okay, well, what initially happened? So I told her pretty much the whole story. I told you guys that. Um, I had gone to see a doctor, and they told me I might have ovarian cysts, came back negative, got a pelvic exam, came back negative, but I'm still having pain, and I just need to know what's going on. So she told me, oh, well, it could be um, sciatica. And I said, well, what's sciatica? Um, I'll tell you what she told me. Sciatica is when you pinch your sciatic nerve. Um, it's, it's down here in your lower back. And it can usually be caused by sitting too long in one area, especially if it's a hard surface. And I knew exactly what they meant by that because back in March, and I can pinpoint the exact day, back in March, I actually had to go somewhere, but I went, I got there way too early than I was supposed to. I ended up sitting in a very hard chair for about four and a half hours. So I kind of figured that's when it started because immediately the next day I was in pain. So I was like, okay. So I asked him, so what do we do from here with the sciatica? Because then eventually the doctor came in and confirmed the same thing. And he said, well, are you on any medication right now? I said, well, currently I'm taking 600 milligrams of ibuprofen just to help with the pain. And it actually does work. My The doctor I saw uh, that told me to take it said to take uh, three times take it three times a day with food but I'm only really taking it as needed and I haven't really needed to take it three times a day I'm really taking it once every other day if absolutely necessary sometimes two times a day but anyway so I am now going to be going through physical therapy I'll let you guys know how that goes um just as well this was also kind of a wake-up call because sciatica happens in people who are either pregnant or overweight. And I am 50 pounds heavier than I was way back when, and that was really a big wake-up call in that I needed to lose some weight. Now, unfortunately, with the lockdown, it's a little harder, but I can walk around my neighborhood for a little bit, which is probably what I will be doing from now on, just to get that that flow of energy to get myself out there and you know, manage my portion control, not to eat at night, you know, and I really want to do better at this. And I know I said that back in January when I tried, or February when I tried to do the going dark thing for March, and obviously that didn't work. So I'm going to just keep trying. I mean, that's the worst you can do is quit. And I'm tired of quitting. I do want to try and lose the weight. I mean, the doctor didn't tell me to lose any weight, so... I'm just doing this on my own, and I really hope it helps me, because I'm sure it will. I'm really excited to see what those results are. I'm just hoping I don't lose kind of the nice things I've gained from gaining weight. Anyway, as this goes on, I will keep updating you guys. Hopefully the sciatica goes away, because there's really no cure for sciatica. You just have to manage it. Kind of the same with my, um, my gingivitis. There's no cure for gingivitis. You just got to manage it, try and control it. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.